Area of triangles. A parallelogram is made up of two congruent triangles. For instance, if we look at this parallelogram, I can see one triangle here on the bottom, and I can see another triangle here, and they are both the same size and shape. They are congruent to one another. Because a parallelogram is made up of two congruent triangles, and the area of a parallelogram is area equals base times height, the area of a triangle is one-half the product of the base and its height. So that means one-half times the base times the height. So the formula to find the area of a triangle is area equals one-half times the base times the height, or area equals base times height divided by two. Write an equation to determine the area of the triangle. Well, we know that the first thing we have to do is write the formula. And the formula to find the area of a triangle is A equals one-half BH. Area equals one-half times the base times the height. And now we can plug in and solve. But as I look at this triangle, I see it tells us where the base is and where the height is, but it doesn't tell us it doesn't tell us the value for the base or the height. So we have to figure this out on our own. As we look at the triangle on the grid, I see that it goes one, two, three, four, five, six units across. So the base is six units. And then the height is one, two, three, four units up and down. So that means the height is four units. This means that we can replace the B in the formula with 6 because the base is 6 units, and we can replace the H in the formula with 4 because the height is 4 units. So I'm going to have 1 half times 6 times 4. And now we multiply to solve. And we know that according to order of operations, we need to do what comes in the parentheses first. So I have area equals 1 half times whatever 6 times 4 is. And 6 times 4 is 24, so I'm going to go ahead and write that. 1 half times 24. And then we can multiply again, and we should get our answer. Well, because we're multiplying a fraction by a whole number, we need to write that whole number as a fraction, so we put the 24 over 1. And now we can multiply our fractions the way that we have learned how by first checking to see if we can cross simplify. And I notice that both 24 and 2 are divisible by 2. So 2 goes into 2 1 time and 2 goes into 24 12 times and I cannot cross simplify any further. And so now I'm going to multiply straight across numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Well, 1 times 12 is 12, and 1 times 1 is 1, and so 12 over 1 simplifies to 12. This means that the area is 12 square units, 12 units squared. Write an equation to determine the area of the triangle. Again, the first thing we need to do is write the formula. So I have A equals 1 half times b times h. So area equals one half of the base times the height. Now as I look at my triangle, I see that I can replace the b with the base. Well this side right here is the base, so I can replace b with nine and three fourths. And the h, the height, is seven feet. So I'm going to replace the h with seven. So when we rewrite the formula, we have A equals one-half times nine and three-fourths times seven. And we can multiply to solve. Now I'm going to ask you to finish this problem on your own. Remember that we cannot keep the nine and three-fourths as a mixed number to multiply. We have to convert it to an improper fraction first. So go ahead and pause the video to uh, to solve, and then press play to check once you are confident in your answer. So, as we solved, uh, we found that the area of this triangle is 32 and 3 eighths feet squared. Write an equation to determine the area of the triangle. 
Now on this one, I'm going to ask you to do it completely on your own, but remember that your first step is to write the formula. So write your letters A equals one half times B times H. So area is half of the base times the height. We will check this with our groups in class. So once you finish this problem, go ahead and continue the video to try the other problems in the video. You can write and solve equations to determine the missing dimensions of a triangle. For example, let's look at this one. It says write an equation to determine the missing dimension of the triangle. So our first step is to write the formula. And on these problems, it's probably going to be easier to write area equals the base times the height over 2, divided by 2. Still means the same thing, half of the base times the height, just written a little differently. But this probably will make it easier on us as we solve. So I'm looking at my triangle at the dimensions, and I see that I am given the height, so this is the height, um, but I don't know what the base is. And remember, it's always a really good idea to label the dimensions of your shape before you get started. That way you know what you're working with. So we are given the area, we are given the height, but we have to find the base. That's the unknown. So that's what we're going to solve for. That means we can replace the A with 24.9. So we have 24.9 equals the base times 6 over 2. And because B times 6 is not written this way, that's not correct in mathematical grammar, we're going to rewrite it as 6B. So I have 24.9 equals 6B divided by 2. Well, to solve, I want to get that term with the B by itself. So I need to get rid of that divided by 2. And in order to do that, I'm going to multiply each side by 2. So I'm going to have 2 times 24.9 equals 6B over 2 times 2. And those 2's on the right will cancel out, so I just have 6B, and we need to figure out what 6B equals. So as I multiplied out, I saw that 2 times 24.9 is 49.8. So 49.8 equals 6 times b. And now we know that to solve this equation, we have to divide both sides by 6. So I will have 49.8 divided by 6 equals 6b divided by 6. 6b divided by 6 is just b, and we need to divide 49.8 by 6 and figure out what that equals. And what I discovered is that 49.8 divided by 6 equals 8.3. This means that b, the base, equals 8.3. But 8.3 what? We need to look back at the triangle and see what we're measuring the lengths of the sides in. And that is centimeters. So the base is 8.3 centimeters. Write an equation to determine the missing dimension of the triangle. As always, the first thing we need to do is write the formula. And for these problems where we have the area and one of the dimensions, it's usually easier to use the formula, formula A equals base times height divided by 2. So now that I've gotten you started with the formula, I'm going to ask you to solve the problem on your own, and we will check in class with our groups.